laid, they laid down with him, all right? They laid down with him. They, they, excuse me, they're in bed with America. Like, when somebody say you're in bed, what I mean, you're in cahoots, all right, you're in league, you know what I'm saying, with somebody, that's, that's the nations, man. All right, because as much as these motherfuckers hate America, they do business with them, man, you know? So they laid down with them and they got rich off what? Imports to America, all right? China, especially China. All right, China got real, got rich, all right, by importing shit to America, man. All right, but getting back to the point of the, the wine, all right, the philosophies, all right, it has taken over the whole earth, man, put a gross darkness over the whole earth because everybody is living by a set of rules or not the rules, but living by the lifestyle that Esau has provided for them, all right, through his philosophy, man. So he got gays everywhere. Gay is the biggest thing on the earth right now, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of these niggas be lying and saying they're gay and shit just to get more exposure. Like Lil, Lil Nas X, I think he ain't even gay, man. You get a hit, then you ain't make another hit. You know what I'm saying? You a gay nigga? Come on, man. But he probably did that shit because he knew it'll make the, them faggots up top embrace him more. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. All right? The, the wrath of America, the wine of America has spread across the whole globe, man. Uh, feminism, that bullshit, you know, it's spread across the whole globe, man. All right, uh, violence, you know, the world is very violent, man. All right, why is the world very violent? Because the people who are, the people who are, uh, the people who are in charge at the moment, who is given power by Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to rule the world for a, a moment, they're the most violent people in the world. So, of course, the world is violent, all right. Because that's the way of the, the, the so-called white man through his all history, through all his, uh, his whole history, is to be violent. So hence the world is violent. Why do you think it's an arms race? Because America, the only reason it's an arms race is because America, America got weapons. All right, everybody trying to keep up with America, and a lot of nations surpassed America, but everybody trying to keep up with America. So that's the reason there's so many bombs, because America has bombs. That's the reason there's so many on weapons and guns and shit, because America has guns, all right? America has had a wicked-ass influence on the damn world, man. All right, violence, sexual perversion, you know, all perverseness. America is the foundation of it as it pertains to its effect on the other nations, like it's saying in uh, Revelation 18, man. Put a new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the old bottles and be spilled, and the bottle shall perish. No man put a new wine in the old bottles, right? So that's why it's so hard. It's going back to the wine, which is the philosophy. It's so hard to get that shit out of people's head. You know, you can talk to you blue in the face about you know the, the, the evil of the so-called white man, and some people won't just won't let it go because they've already been what you call indoctrinated. All right. That's why a lot of times you see the brothers that come into this truth are young men. And if they older men, they came probably most likely came in as a young man and just stayed in. You know what I'm saying? And been in a very long time. You know? Because it's hard to shake that shit. If somebody's been celebrating Christmas for 40 years and shit, it's hard to get a nigga to stop doing that shit. You know? It's because it's, it has become... Like the Lord referenced, like when the apostles really didn't wash their hands before they ate, he said the traditions of men. All right? It's just a tradition. You know, niggas getting together and eating food and shit. That's all it really is. When you think about it, that's all the holidays is. Is niggas eating food. You can eat food any day. You give people to your family, eat some food and shit. You know, but it's the Christmas movies. You know, I mean, 
What's that movie called? A Christmas Story? How many fucking times can you watch that shit, my nigga? It was cool the first couple times, but it's the next shit. You know, Christmas songs, Christmas tree, Christmas pajamas, whatever the fuck, man. You can't get that wine out of their head because they've been taught, well, it's Jesus. That's the excuse. It's Jesus' birthday. Come on, man. That's the excuse, man. Uh, Thanksgiving, you know, you go over there. I always go over there the next day get some food, you know. But, you know, you ask somebody, well, what, is, what do you really think Thanksgiving is about? Well, it's just a feast. Man, that shit is a celebration of the demise of the damn Israelites, man. That's what it is. Independence Day. Why are you celebrating that? You were a slave. Well, you know, it's just a... It, these holidays for the Israelites is just an excuse for niggas to get together and drink liquor and eat food, man. Niggas don't care about that shit, for real. You know? But, uh, it says, No man also, having drunk old wine, straightway desired new. For he said, the old is better. Then he stuck in his way. So the philosophy, the, the real doctrine of Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, who people call God and Jesus Christ, are the truth of the scriptures isn't as appealing as the shit that you learn. So that's them saying that. He, he don't want no desire, no new wine. He said the old wine is better, all right? Because that's the first thing the old nigga would tell you. You can't teach me nothing. I've been doing this, I know this, I know that. You know, it's hard to teach a nigga anything. You know what I'm saying? Let alone somebody who feel like they got experience and they lived another life, whereas you can't tell them anything, all right? That's them old heads. That's them old bottles. You know, the old wine is better. All right? Because they not looking for no new way of life. They niggas is 35 and shit. Well, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to necessarily say that. But for the most part, you know, people older, they not looking for no new way of life. It ain't going to strike them. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they think they should be telling you every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Whereas for all you people that believe in the scriptures or so-called believe in the scriptures, when the Lord was on the scene, he was, you know, rebuking uh, people when he was a young man, like a young man, young man. You know what I'm saying? In his teens and shit. And the state was doing the same shit. Who was, you know, who was this dude? Even when the Lord was a grown man on the scene, who was this dude? They felt like they knew everything going right. right? So as it pertains to the wine, you know, that's why it's so hard, once again, to teach older people new things because they say that the old wine is better like the scripture said alright no man also having drunk old wine straightway desired new for he said the old is better so he feel like he cool with what he know you know that's why I wonder what they say uh you know like tell somebody the Lord coming back you know you know I nigga they been saying that shit since you know what I'm saying I mean saying that shit since I was in the 70s nigga you know Cause they feel like they seen and done it and they heard it all, you know. So that's why, you know, that that old wine, you know, it's better to them. All right. Uh, Second Maccabees 15 Second Maccabees 15 and 39 For as it is hurtful to drink wine or water alone And as wine mingled with water is pleasant And delight of the taste Even so speech finely framed the light of the ears of them that read the story. And here shall be an end. Alright. Even so, sp speech finally framed the light of the ears of them that read the story. That's how Esau gets you. Alright. With, with his bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he used sweet words to entice you. Alright. So they'll get like, and they always use, you notice they always use a nigga. Alright. Like, like, with, like with fashion, right? Everybody seen Pharrell with that uh, dress on. It was just like a bitch, you know. 